That is freaking ferocious, man! Oh, I got him. Welcome back to another episode of Jonathan Snares, where today we take this 80 pound pistol crossbow and we one up our last video with that 40 pound piece of garbage, man. This new one is very lethal. We're going to Auntie Darren's Catch and Cook Rabbit Hunting Big Mondo Rabbit Edition. Let's get it. My balls are sweltering. It's so hot. Can't you just feed it? Video these nuts! You ain't gotta do nothing for nobody! Ask these nuts! Oh, you don't have to do nothing for nobody! What's cracking, little Johnny? J S E I. Let's get over. Oh. Now, today we are hunting. Uh, by the way, I can aim this at Corey. It's not cock back. I'll cock your cock back. Your cock back. That's like a cocktail. <gasps> today we're hunting with this pistol crossbow, 80 pound little mother trucker. And look at this. Bah! These are my neon ones, so we can find them, of course, after we shoot them. I spent about $25 an animal, $70 for this thing. This video, this budget was like $80. But look, this is the 50 pound pistol crossbow and this is the 80 pound. I'll show you. Look, watch this unboxing, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that bar. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? It's unwrapping. Ooh. Oh my gosh, man. You see how significantly bigger this one is right here? Now this is significantly bigger. Holy Dickinson, North Dakota, bud. This is bigger than an Upper Decker Maker Packer. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. This is self-cocking too. This one, you remember last video, none of you vegans and tree huggers will, will respect me for who I am because this thing is not lethal. This thing here, this is 80 pounds. This is significantly lethal or so, so sophisticated. This is extremely lethal. 80 pounds next to 40 or 50, whatever this thing was. This is definitely, oh, I left my light on. Go! Oh! This is definitely the more lethal machine here. It feels a lot. This one feels like it's about 1.2 1, 1 pounds probably. This one here is at least like 3 or 4 pounds. This is a big one. Let's see, how does this pistol, how does this cock back on the cock cocktail work? How does, how do you do this? I've never, never, I didn't watch no video on this. I just seen somebody shoot it here and there, but I don't know how this works. Oh, okay, okay. That's significant, that's very cool. Whoa, mini crossbow, see what I'm saying? Focus on that, baby. Let's get it. Now that's the mini crossbow, put this through here. Get your dick over here, dude. You're way too far. Ask these nuts! You ain't gotta do nothing for nobody! Now ask these nuts politely. <sighs> something about some cocoa pebbles. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set this up. Oh, my. My, this is sweltering. Get in the shed. Oh my go. Gosh. Go. Oh my gosh. Go. Oh, the AC's on in here. So this one is quite significantly better. Actually, you line it up with this, and then you, to not damage your wood or whatnot, you gotta put these mounts inside of here. I'm gonna do that real quick, and then you gotta stretch this string, so you gotta twist it. Takes two people most of the time. Obviously, it comes with your little screw or whatnot. I'll see you later. He's gonna have to ask these nuts if he wants my help. No balls! He's a troggle humper. Like in the BFG. Big friendly giant, of course. <laughs> uh, what's going on? <laughs> what the? <laughs> uh, Jesus, yeah. All right, let's get it. Now this is significantly bigger. This is the 80 pound versus the 40 or 50 pound. Uh, obviously significantly bigger. It has real metal on it. It's very heavy. This one weighs nothing. This one just feels very real. So this one's definitely going to take out a rabbit tonight. Right through the scopes, baby. These arrows are very lightweight. I chose very lightweight ones so they're very efficient. And they have a nice kill. Now watch. Push this down. You have to push this down, then you go. Ugh. 
Obviously. I don't know how you put safety on. This is extremely dangerous. You gotta do this and hope your fingers don't get broke off. Look at that. That's extremely dangerous, extremely powerful, and, and it takes very much force to pull it back. That one takes absolutely zero force. But let's see if this can go on a log right here, folks. Whoa! Daggum! This is solid red oak right here. And if it... How loud this one is compared to this one. This one, much weaker. Real easy to pull back. Which one was louder? Extremely ferocious. It kills... These things break themselves. It's so ferocious. That rabbit dude, he's gonna... Yeah. Right when I shoot him. He'll go... Bleh. Holy dick, dude. This thing shoots like that one. They, they shoot these arrows and they wiggle a lot. This 80 pound one, I shot it over there. Zoom in on that. It went straight in the tin, man. And it, it didn't wiggle one bit. I gotta show that. There's no freaking way. That is so ferocious. It went to the moon, man. Went to the freaking moon, man. Want somewhere. That's far, dude. This thing's got ferocious power. This thing going right through a rabbit tonight. I get ya! Got him on the tire. Who's that Pokemon? I need to take the shot. <laughs> what is good, you Sumdex JS here? Tonight is the official hunt. I'm gonna snipe one of these. This accuracy on this pistol crossbow is phenomenal. I'm here with my auntie Darren today. Yeah. <laughs> he had quite a change in life a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I got him. I got him. I wish that was a neon arrow. I should let it sit for 20, 30 minutes. Ooh, I got one, I got one, I got one! I freaking got him, I, I sniped him, I seen him, I seen him jump, big time. <laughs> it's in the cocaine. We have to beep that out because it's probably not like child appropriate. <laughs> Little kids. I got him! Uh, he laid down, I approached him a bit, and he ran further, but I know exactly where he is. Sure. Uh, but I know exactly where he is, and I'm not gonna approach him anymore because he will sprint away, and I'll never see him again. So, yeah, wow! Do you think I'll find him? Hopefully we got him right in the vitals. He got some coke. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can't find them. No way. No way. No way. I seen this bloody arrow. Extremely bloody arrow. And I looked. I looked. I said, I'm kicking these cocks down. I kicked these cockobers down. I kicked them all down. I looked over here. I kept on kicking and kicking. You know, I, I thought, there's so much blood. What? 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 <laughs> we freaking got him, boss. That was a perfect shot. Right at the heart, man. I got blood on me. Bloodborne diseases, man. Those are no joke. Look at that reward. My hard work paid off, boys. Perfect shot. There he goes. He did it. Woo! Is that the first one you got? Uh. Woo! Yeah. Or is that the second one? <laughs> no, this is him. Where'd you find him? I, I kept kicking cockobers down and seeing him. Right in the freaking heart, man. In the lungs. What does Aunt Darren say of that? Aunt Darren? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> As always, be a man and eat your kill, you know? That's, that's part of this whole scenario. I'm gonna cut his legs off, cook him up. Uncle Darren, dude, he's hungry, hungry for this rat. I meant kind of like both, like aunt. No, I forgot. No, well, we are beeping that out. That is hateful speech. Not showing that side. 
This is for fun. Get Jonathan's free dollar fill up at your local frickin' Minnesota bar and grill while we eat rabbit. Yeehaw! That's a dick. Get your cock out of here. Boy! Yeehaw! JSCI. Let's get it. Ooh. Now, that would be the rabbit catching cook with the little fadangle of the angle. Pistol crossbow. Bam! Little pistol crossbow action, boy. Let's see what this rabbit really tastes like. Does it taste, it looks like a drumstick, boy. And it, and it fried up just like it was freaking KFC, boy. What's up with that? It looks like Ireland. There's something weird, you know, some foreign country. Look at all them freaking hair, man. I love the hair special. Tastes like gamey freaking chicken, man. That looks like chicken. Tastes like chicken, man. I'm gonna go heat it up because it being heated up might taste a lot better. It tastes cold. I'll tell you, if every all oh, the prices keep rising like they are, I got myself chicken strips running around. My freaking chicken tenders are running around the yard. No, this is this is not a joke even. This is not even a joke. I'm not even joking this time. Because it's like I cooked them in um olive oil the butter didn't burn yeah actually I'm not even joking that's good food right there I'm making I'm cooking very good and that food tastes fresh boy just think 18 hours ago he was hopping around man something like that so that's as fresh as it gets he was cage free you know for those vegans out there he was cage free he made for a good meal you know I would honestly think this was chicken if I wasn't told it wasn't. That is the best rabbit I've eaten. I don't know what they're eating at Darren's. He's got a lab with a bunch of like glowing uh, blue lights and stuff. And they're eating good around there for some reason. I don't know, he plants his own crops and stuff. He, he like plants his own oregano and stuff. The oregano makes him think funny. He can even burn this stuff and he'll act really funny and stuff. Oh, it's all over his yard even. It's just growing wild. This this oregano leaf kind of like ball looks like a looks like a cockober, but it looks like a lettuce cockober. Now I'll have you know these are wild in Uncle Darren's yard. He he lights them up and makes them feel very funny in the head. I don't know what it is, but he wouldn't tell me what that plant was. But I'm pretty sure that's what these rabbits are eating. Subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below what you thought of this video. I put a lot of work into it. This took me a whole week to make. Alright, I'll catch you some dicks later.